Hello everyone and welcome to How To Do That. Today we'll be doing Lab 6, Energy in Food. We'll be demonstrating how it is you get the calories out of a Cheeto Puff. I'll be your host, Micah Simone Rowe. And I'm Brooke Buckner. Let's take a look at our materials. Yes ma'am. So first, we have a scale, a graduated cylinder with 100 milliliters of water, a thermometer, a calorie meter setup, and a bag of Cheeto Puffs. The calorie meter setup is based off of household items that is cheaper and better than the real thing. Let's get started with step one. Okay, so we're gonna get a Cheeto Puff and we're going to zero out our scale and weigh it. All right, here we go. This is where you collect your data? Yes. We're measuring the mass of this Cheeto Puff and your result is your initial mass. Okay, next step, um, we have our water poured already, 100 milliliters full, uh, and we're going to pour that into the empty soda can. And while she's doing that, I can put the Cheeto Puff on the paper clip that we have, and it's important to place it under the... Uh, the soda can right here. Okay, and we're going to measure the initial temperature of the water in degrees Celsius. And you also record your data here. I don't think it's going to move too much no. since it was originally at room temperature and so was the water. Okay. Um, light the cheese puff with the lighter and we're going to let it completely burn. And you want to put aluminum foil under it or a cookie sheet because it will get messy. And I would suggest lighting it from the bottom. Smell it. Smells <laughs> so like cheese. Burning <laughs> cheese. <laughs> All right. Burn, baby, burn. Does it say when we need to take more measurements? We're going to take the temperature of the water every 30 seconds. Be careful. Oh yeah, I'm good. It's moving. And every 30 seconds, you're going to record your temperature of the water. Knowing the calories in your food is very important, especially if you're on a diet or have specific health restrictions within limits of such as diabetes or anything else that could be a concern of yours. Looks like the Cheeto is cooling off now. Yeah. I think we burnt the cup also. 
this is what's left. So now we're going to weigh the burnt Cheeto. It's very light. It's lighter than it was before. And this will be your final mass. All right. And this is when you record that on your data sheet. You also have to do a little bit of math to find those exact numbers, but this is how you find your calories at the Cheetah. I guess we can eat these now. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Excuse me. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching Lab 6, Energy and Food. Finding Calories in a Cheeto. I've been your host, Michael Simone Rowe. And I'm Brooke Buckner. Thanks for watching How to Do That.